time, why don't you uh, think about part B? You can pause the video here and just give some thoughts uh, about uh, uh, how we can apply the alternating series test. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sort of like separate the non-alternating part from the alternating part. So which is uh, me calling a n to be 1 over ln n plus 1. Okay. Again, first condition is the limit condition. Second condition is equivalent to proving that um, a n is decreasing. Okay. So first, first condition. Okay. So the limit of 1 over ln n plus 1. Okay, well, the, the top is constant, the bottom is ln n, and ln infinity uh, is just infinity because ln is an increasing function. It, it approaches infinity for larger n's. So 1 over infinity is going to tend to 0. So that means that I'm going to put a check mark here. Okay. To prove that a n is decreasing, I'm going to use a different strategy here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to prove this. Okay. Well, first of all, what is a n plus 1? a n plus 1 is 1 over ln n plus 1. Is it true that we have 1 over ln n plus 1 is less than 1 over ln n, right? Well, it's true because that's what I just said a few seconds ago. ln is an increasing function. So this is, a, this is the ln of a bigger value. So it's going to be bigger than ln n, right? So 1 over a bigger number on the left is going to be less than 1 over a smaller number. So this holds true for all n, in fact. See, we, I didn't need to define a function, and I didn't need to take the derivative of that. Even if you do it, you will get the same result anyway. But this is sort of like a shortcut by just observation that, uh, that you can prove this inequality, which means a n uh, is uh, decreasing. So all two conditions are met, right? So I can go ahead and conclude that. Uh, this is a convergent series. Uh, I can either write convergent here or the notation saying like this is less than infinity means essentially this is a convergent uh, infinite series. If you look at the difference between the consecutive terms, you can see that uh, it's negative. So that means an is decreasing. And I know that the, uh, the non-alternating part has a limit zero. And this is a convergence behavior. And as you see that the sum, the partial sums, as you see, converge this blue dashed line as you increase the terms in uh, the partial sum.